this question is a question that deals with the conservation of energy. So we have a child here that is going along a slide like so. And here I'm drawing a child here. As you can see, my drawing skills are absolutely excellent, par none. We know that the mass of our child is equal to 40 kilograms. And we know that the vertical height that they start off at is 10 meters. We also told that the velocity at which they exit the slide in this case is also equal to 10, but now 10 meters per second. And we know that as they slide, they're going to lose some energy along the way. And so in terms of conservation of energy, we say that the total energy of the system remains unchanged. So at the top of the slide, the total energy is completely just potential. Now, that means as they go down the slide, they actually have two types of energy that is being transformed. So first one is, of course, the kinetic energy, which is related to the velocity of the child, plus H, which is the energy in terms of the heat lost in terms of the friction and so forth. So this is equal to that. Now, now we can substitute everything in. So in other words, what we have is MGH, which is our formula for potential energy, is equal to the kinetic energy, which is a half mv squared, plus the heat that we're looking for. So if I rearrange that, I get h is equal to mgh minus a half mv squared. We now just have to substitute everything in. And so what we get is 40 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by the height, which is 10. Subtract that a half, again, multiply this by the mass of the child and multiply by a v squared, which is 10 squared. And when you calculate that out, you're going to get 1920 joules or 1.92 kilojoules if you wish. So there you have it. There you have the conservation of energy applied to a very simple problem. I hope that's helped you. Please like, share and subscribe and check out my website. Bye for now.